Before you spend money on gallons of liquid cooling, try this trick to cool down your CPU when it gets too hot. Using a tool called Throttle Stop, you can bring your CPU temperatures down by a cool 30% or even more. The process to do this is called undervolting, which is limiting the amount of voltage sent to your CPU, thereby keeping it cool. This is particularly handy for laptops. Undervolting doesn't negatively impact CPU performance unless you undervolt a lot, at which point your PC may crash. If that happens, just reboot and don't undervolt so hard next time. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and here is how to cool down your CPU by undervolting. The more strenuous the task you carry out on your PC are, the more your CPU or processor will heat up. This becomes particularly noticeable during gaming or heavyweight video editing, but your CPU may be prone to overheating anyway if it's poorly ventilated or the thermal paste on the chip has worn out. Luckily, there's a borderline miraculous tool that can reduce high temperatures by a process called undervolting. It's called Throttle Stop, and we're going to show you how to use it to cool down a toasty CPU. What is undervolting? Before pushing on, it's worth knowing what undervolting is, as it's a pretty serious process. While undervolting doesn't damage your CPU, overdoing it can make your system unstable, although it's easy to reverse. Overvolting, on the other hand, can damage your CPU if abused, but used carefully can allow you to overclock your CPU to higher speeds. We won't be covering that today. Undervolting, simply put, reduces the amount of power or voltage being directed to your CPU. The more power sent to your CPU, the hotter it gets. The less of the power, the cooler it gets. Simple. Another perk of undervolting for laptop users is that it extends battery life. Best of all, undervolting doesn't noticeably affect performance even during high intensity activities like gaming. It really is as good as it sounds. Undervolt your CPU using Throttle Stop. Throttle Stop is a tool with many purposes. Its very name refers to its use in overriding throttling systems in your CPU to increase performance, but we're going to kind of be doing the opposite. First, download and install Throttle Stop, then open it. Link in the description. You'll see a bunch of numbers and options at this point that will probably make you think you're in too deep. Ignore the numbers. More relevant are the four select circles at the top left. These will let you switch between different profiles each of which can have their own undervolt settings. We'll switch this to game as we're creating a profile for gaming, but you can leave it on performance if you like. So with the profile that you want set up selected, click the FIVR button in Throttle Stop. In the new window, tick the Unlock Adjustable Voltage box. Next we'll be decreasing the offset voltage slider, which is the undervolting part. We recommend decreasing this to minus 100 millivolts to start. Once you've done that, click CPU Cache in the FIBR control section and set it to the same voltage. It's crucial that the CPU core and CPU cache always have the same voltage offset. Once you've done this, click Apply and continue to track your system stability and CPU temperatures. You can track CPU temperatures from the main throttle stop window. If your system remains stable, no blue screen crashes, then you can continue decreasing the CPU cache and CPU core voltage in minus 10 millivolt increments to further reduce your CPU temperature. If you reach a point where your system crashes, reboot your PC, open throttle stop and bring the offset voltage back up towards a point at which your system was stable. Different CPUs can handle different levels of undervoltage, so you will need to experiment a bit to find out the limits for your CPU. The Intel i7 CPU that we use goes down to minus 150 millivolts with no problem, but yours may differ. When you're done making adjustments, click OK in the FIVR control panel, then turn on in the main throttle stop window. If you want to avoid having to open throttle stop manually each time you want to undervolt, you can set it to open on Windows Startup. Refer to our guide on how to use the Windows Task Scheduler for more info. Link in the description. Conclusion. Using this method we reduced our CPU gaming temperature from nearly 90 degrees C down to a much less alarming 70 to 75 degrees C. This is just about as much effect as you can have on your CPU temperature from within Windows. If you're still having trouble though, you may want to think about opening up your PC and applying thermal paste to the CPU or blowing away dust. 
link to our guides on these subjects in the description. Okay, if you like this video, then please hit that like button and leave a comment. And also maybe head over to our Make Tech Easier YouTube channel for more guides, tutorials and lists about all things tech. Our channel covers Windows, Linux, Mac, iOS, Android and all the weird things in between. So we'll almost definitely have something for you. Better still, hit the subscribe button and never miss our latest videos. And for a bonus credit, hit the notification bell too to be alerted immediately when new videos hit the channel. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's it for now. See you next time.